There are people who went to hell today now. There are people who are in hell because a group of people paid to make sure they don't get life. Do you know Satan is still paying people today to say Jesus is not risen? There are many people, many of our children across the globe today learning all kinds of things sponsored by the abundance of financial resources. I will repeat it one more time for your hearing koinonia that the name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes financial resources to lift it high so that the nations will see. Out of all the strategies to stop the manifestation of the name of Jesus, Satan decided to choose the issue of finance. Please do not downplay it. I was teaching the workers and also our school of ministry students that when you remain in abject poverty, three things must happen to you. One, you must steal. Two, you must tell lies. Three, you must borrow. One of these three things, usually all three, will eventually happen to you if you are poor. It has nothing to do with whether you are good or bad. It is the consequence of not being empowered economically. For instance, if you don't have the money to pay your rent, even if you're a sincere prayer warrior, chances are excellent that when your wife and your children are about to be kicked out of the house, you wouldn't know when you will beg your wife to say, please tell them I traveled. I will tell God sorry later on, but for now, and you will feel bad and yet you will repeat it again. The bondage that poverty puts men, it will take God to open your eyes to see it. I have told you that every time we advocate wealth and abundance is from a pro-kingdom standpoint. Don't approach it from a carnal, mundane standpoint, just fueling lust. This is not what we're teaching. But I can tell you that among the many tools that must be present in your life, first to live a life of dignity, then to advance the purposes of God, and then to fulfill Genesis 12, 3, that in this shall all the families of the earth be blessed. You will not be able to do greater works if you lack resources. That is the truth. The force of wealth and abundance. I used to watch the great crusades of Reinhard Bonke, the great crusades of Billy Graham, and they would pack stadiums. And I know that usually when we watch those crusades, the central point is just Billy Graham coming, but you need to have an understanding of the budgets. Are we together now? By the privilege of God's grace and by reason of what I do, I can tell you that it takes serious amount of money to do anything meaningful for the kingdom. Souls are expensive. It takes resources to bring them to the cross. The gospel is free, they say, but the means to take it to the lost is not free. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Takes a lot. There are many people today who have relevant teachings, messages that can shape the body of Christ, can help us come into a greater level of stature and understanding, but they cannot publish those works because they are incapacitated financially. Am I right on that? There are many parents today who have been given the responsibility of raising the next apostles and prophets, and they know by the Spirit that God already told them that your child is going to be a mighty tool before I return. But to take that child to a good mission school a responsible school where he can be prepared for destiny they want to do so but they do not have the resources to make it happen it is terrible to know what to do and still be limited because of finances I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God that which limits men incapacitates men financially and makes your life a representation of mockery and shame may it live your life from tonight Hallelujah. Consult with any military personality and they will tell you most of the terrorists that inflict mayhem in this nation and across the nations, most of them are from teenagers into their mid-twenties. How many old people have the strength to do all these kind of things? It takes strength to serve even the devil. 
And the devil will not make do with people who are too weak and cannot be effective. And so he goes, he literally looks for a demography, an age range, and captures them. But in the name of Jesus, we are here on a mission to redeem all that the devil has plucked. That the devil has chained families, chained breadwinners, chained destiny helpers using the tool of poverty. He has programmed it to even be transgenerational so that all the disciplined, godly, serious young men in certain families they never get to rise until you fraternize with him and meet a herbalist then you find out irresponsible people now begin to rise I'm praying for you every chain of poverty that has held your life held your children in the name of he who died and rose again may it be broken now and forever